Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be talking about my favorite tips and tricks on how to get rid of cakey foundation. Nobody wants cakey foundation. It's really unflattering. It's really noticeable and it doesn't look good on anybody, especially in pictures and going out to events. You do not want to be seen with cakey foundation. So I'm going to be sharing my tips and tricks on how to get rid of cakey foundation. If you want to know how to prevent a cake face, then just keep watching. So the first thing I want to talk about about, no matter what skin type you have you should definitely be going in with a good base and that starts off with your moisturizer you need to moisturize your face whether you have dry skin oily skin normal skin combo skin you need to moisturize your skin every single day even if you have oily skin a lot of people think that just because you have oily skin you don't need to moisturize you should be moisturizing more than people who have dry skin because your skin is producing more oil because it's not moisturized enough, if that makes any sense. So it's going to overproduce oils in order to moisturize your skin. And in that aspect, your skin is going to look more oily and greasy, and you don't want that. So definitely moisturize, and your skin will be free of cake face. So if you have oily to normal skin, I would go in with a non-greasy, lightweight moisturizer. And if you have really, really dry skin, then I would go in with something that's non-greasy as well, but is a little thicker in consistency. If you know you have an event coming up, I would really recommend going in with a night cream. My favorite is the High Potency Nitamins. This is from Oregon. And origin Oregon I don't know how to pronounce it but I love this it has like an orange smell to it and it really helps revive my dull skin by morning time and it looks fresh and it doesn't look greasy so I would recommend this if you have an event coming up another thing I want to talk about is eye creams you should definitely be moisturizing your eyes so I love the Hydrating Eye Cream by Bobbi Brown. This is really, really expensive, but Clinique has a really good one too, and it's called Bye Bye Under Eye. So I would really recommend going in with a under eye moisturizer so when you conceal, it won't look cakey and you won't crease as much. So now that we talked about moisturizers, I want to talk about primers. Obviously, if you're just going out for a couple hours, you really don't need a primer. But if you're going out all night long, you definitely want a primer to prolong the wear of your makeup. So something that I would really recommend to take away cake face is the Too It Face Hangover Primer. This primer has a really thin consistency. It's with coconut water and it's really really amazing it's silicone free so it's not just going into your pores and doing something that's not going to help you beneficially in the long run and this will help you because it's really hydrating but i don't really think that this helps prolong my makeup so this is perfect if you want to moisturize and add an extra step if you're just going out for a couple hours but this is better than something like the Becca backlighting filter. This isn't going to smooth your face, so you will get cakey from a primer like this rather than the Too Faced Hangover Primer, which is really moisturizing and will really blend into your skin. This will kind of just sit on top of your skin. If you have oily skin, I would swap this for a mattifying primer. Makeup Forever has a really amazing mattifying primer. I would go in with that rather than putting on foundation and then putting on a lot of powder in order to, you know, kind of get rid of that grease because then it's just going to make you look cakey. And if you really, really suffer from really bad dry skin, I would recommend going in with an argan oil or any type of oil. I know Smashbox has a really good oil that you could put into your foundation. A lot of companies have amazing oils that are meant to be mixed in with your foundation so it could cheer out your foundation and really soak into your skin rather than caking it up. So I want to talk about building up your foundation. Before you build up your foundation, you definitely don't need to go in with the high coverage foundation unless you suffer from really extreme acne. But if you do have problematic skin like acne or scarring, I would recommend going in with a color corrector this is the Naked Skin Color Corrector in Peach. This is perfect for dull eyes or dark circles. So instead of going in with a really high coverage concealer, I would go in with this and correct any imperfections that you may have. So this is in the color Peach. There's also green that reduces redness. There's yellow that corrects dullness. 
There's peach that masks circles and spots. There's lavender that corrects sallowness. And there's pink that corrects dark areas. So don't think that you have to go in with the high coverage foundation to correct all these problematic areas that you have going on in your face. If you suffer from acne, I would really recommend going in with the full coverage concealer before you put on your foundation. A great one is the Tarte Shape Tape. So many people love this. This is a really great full coverage concealer that has no creasing. So if you have redness or anything, color correct, and then go in with a concealer, and then go in with your foundation. Next thing I want to talk about is the tools that you're using for your foundation. I would always recommend going in with a brush and then a beauty blender to dab everything in. So this is a Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. I would go in with the Flat Kabuki brush rather than a Duo Fiber Stippling brush because the Duo Fiber Stippling brush will soak up all your product and you just keep having to build it up and it can get confusing because you don't know how much you need to build up because your brush is taking away everything from you. So this is amazing because it'll really dab into your skin and this won't soak up any excess product. So this will go right into your skin and really buff it in. Another thing I want to talk about is building up your foundation. These are both dewy foundations. This is an aqua foundation and this is a luminous silk foundation. So this is perfect for dry skin. I do recommend the Anastasia stick foundation. That is amazing but it's a little too dry for me but it's amazing for people with oily skin. So these are both medium coverage foundations. So now that you concealed and color corrected, you can go in with a medium coverage foundation and you'll look flawless. After you buff everything in with your brush, I recommend going in with a dirty beauty blender. <laughs> I know, I just used this, I'm sorry. This video is not about my dirty beauty blender. So I would recommend going in with a brush and then pushing the product in with a beauty blender because this is damp and it will kind of break up the product that you have and really soak it into the skin for an airbrush finish. So I would never ever live without this thing. This is amazing and I love it so much. Another crucial part about getting rid of a cakey face is powder. Obviously you don't want to go in with foundation and then go in with a mineral based foundation powder or any type of foundation powder. You want to go with a skin perfecting powder that's just meant to set your skin. The RCMA no color powder is perfect for people who have dry skin and oily skin because this will get rid of any oil in your skin and really set your foundation. I don't recommend going in with a setting powder and using it all over your face. If that is your cup of tea, then I would recommend going in with the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. This is silk to the touch and it just really melts into the skin and it's not dry at all. So this is perfect for touch ups and I love this for my dry skin. This is perfect for your under eye because it'll help it not crease and it is also silky to the touch like this, but it tends to get a little bit messier. So I just like to use this under my eyes and maybe a little bit in my T-zone because I do tend to get oily there. And last but not least, I would recommend going in with a spray. This is MAC Fix Plus. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And this is a Mario Rose Water Facial Spray, which I am almost finished with because it's just that amazing and it's seven bucks and it's so cheap. If you suffer from cake face, this will be your best friend, especially the Mario Rose Water Spray. It gives your skin some hydration and it'll break up that powder and help it sink more into your skin and make your skin look like skin rather than powder. And that's kind of what a beauty blender does. So I would recommend going in with this before your foundation and after your foundation if you suffer from really dry skin. And if you have oily skin, then I would recommend either or. Just going in with it once before or after. It really doesn't matter, but I would recommend going in with it after. So that's a wrap. I really hope these tips and tricks are beneficial to you and you learned something new from this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the meantime. Bye!